How to use Data Rescue 1. In order to begin your recovery, you'll need to be running on a Mac operating system of at least 10.7.5. You will also need to have the Data Rescue 1 drive, as well as the USB cable provided to plug the Data Rescue 1 drive into your system. If you plan on running the recovery on a laptop, you will also want to make sure that you have the laptop plugged in using the power cable. Once you have all the materials ready to start your recovery, you will want to make sure that you have your computer completely powered down. Then you'll want to use the USB cable that was provided to plug into the Data Rescue 1 drive and then to plug the Data Rescue 1 drive into your system. Once you have made that connection between the Data Rescue 1 drive and your computer, you want to hold down the Option key on your keyboard and press the power button. You want to keep the Option key held down until you see the list of drives appear on the screen in front of you. Once you're able to see that list of drives, you'll be able to go ahead and release the Option key and then use the arrow keys to go over to the Prepare Data Rescue icon. Once that's highlighted, you'll just want to go ahead and hit the return key in order to boot into the Data Rescue One drive. After you select the Prepare Data Rescue icon, you'll notice that the screen goes completely black and you'll notice in white text on the top left of your screen it will say Booting Prepare Data Rescue. After the black screen goes away, you should have a white or a gray background with a blue loading bar that's bouncing back and forth. Once the blue loading bar makes it back and forth, your system should restart to where you see a black background with the Apple icon as well as the loading bar going across your screen. Once the loading bar is able to make it all the way across the screen, you'll then be prompted with the license agreement that you'll have to agree to in order to move forward with the software. At this point, you'll just have to enter your name as well as your serial number in order to fully activate the software and get ready to begin running your recovery. After you have fully activated the software, you'll notice that you'll boot into the Data Rescue 1 page, where by default it will select your internal hard drive to scan, as well as it will have the Data Rescue storage partition set up as the recovery destination. In order to begin the scan, all you'll have to do is simply press Start. Once you've clicked Start on the recovery, you'll notice that the background will change and it will just say Deep Scan Operation in Progress. For a 1TB hard drive, the deep scan is going to take anywhere from 5 to 10 hours depending on the read and write speeds of that hard drive. Once the scanning operation is complete, it will go directly into the recovery and you'll see the background image change from where it says deep scan to where it will now say recover, operation in progress. When the recovery is finished, you'll get presented with a recovery complete page where it will tell you how many files were recovered, what drive they were recovered from, and what drive they were recovered to. At this point, you'll simply just need to perform another option boot to get back into your normal system to make sure that all the files that you're looking for are recovered. In order to do so, just highlight the Apple icon on the very top left of the screen and from that drop down menu select shut down. Once the computer has completely shut itself down, you'll just want to be holding down the option key and press the power button to turn it back on. You'll keep that option key held down until you see the list of drives appear on your screen that you can boot from. By default, you'll want to be either booting into Mac HD or Macintosh HD. So you'll just use your arrow keys to navigate to the correct drive and then select return. Once you've booted all the way back into your normal system, you'll notice the Data Rescue Storage Drive is now mounted on your desktop. You'll just want to double click into the Data Rescue Storage Partition to open up a finder window where you can get into the recovered data. Within this finder window, you'll notice a folder called Recovered Files, and then within that Recovered Files, you'll notice a folder that says Scan 1. Once you're able to navigate into these folders, you'll see a Found Files folder as well as the Reconstructed Files folder. Everything that maintains its original file name and folder structure is going to be brought back under the Found Files folder, whereas everything that was rebuilt by the software is going to come back within that Reconstructed Files folder. So you'll want to navigate through these two folders to make sure that everything that you were looking for was indeed recovered. Once you're able to verify that the data that you were looking for was recovered, you'll want to start migrating it back into your normal system. So you just want to drill down through these scan results, find the important documents that you're looking for, and drag and drop them over into their correct location on your normal hard drive. After you've been able to move all the files from the Data Rescue Storage Partition onto their normal hard drives, you are now safe to erase the Data Rescue Storage Partition so that you can continue to use the Data Rescue One drive for any future recoveries.